Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you, come along and see us Hello everyone And today Well, first off This is a new gaming channel That I'm making Um, I will be playing Minecraft And pretty much any other computer game that you guys want me to play. So, please show some support and like and subscribe. You probably won't do that right away, but anyway, doesn't hurt to ask. Anyway, today we are playing a game called. Where's the title? Um, it's called Space Something. Oh, here, okay. Um, Space Expedition. And these are all the people that were put into making it. These were all the people that were used to build. Um, we have a lot of people. They're going to be hard to name off. But still. Um, we do have our own spacesuit, which is actually pretty cool. Wait. Okay. Yeah, we have our own spacesuit. The, my bad, bio suit. We've got a helmet. Cool, it's a glass. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, it's a glass pane. We're ready to go to the moon. But anyway, I've been done doing enough talking. Um, click here to leave the virtual interface. Or first off, need to read this. Your biosuit comes with an AI that will aid you on your journey. Messages from it will appear in the chat. If you see gray underlined text, press T and click on it to obtain more information. You can also press T to scroll up and reread questions to ask. Click to ask the AI, what time is it? Oh, so I can click these and ask him what time it is. What time is it? One out of... <laughs> um, what day of the year is it? Give me more information the current season. Night vision. Um, okay. Your bio suit is equipped with this feature. It seems the engineers planned more features for me than they were able to comp complete in the time for the mission. However, we could probably make the upgrade ourselves with the synthesizer, if you can gather these supplies. So I need 16 redstone dust, 16 iron ingots, 16 coal, 1 titanium ingot, and 1 power source. Cool, so it's got like custom block. Okay, hollow, ooh, hologram display. How does, okay, well, anyway, let's keep reading. Scan and translate. Music to play. <laughs> cool, I can play music. Um, let's do... Ward. Oh, no, I hate that one. Stop playing the music! Doesn't It doesn't sound good when you overlap everything. Ooh, I like that one. Okay, so now we are ready to play Synthesizer, synthesizer Recipes Discovered. Augmented Limbs, Bios Book. I already have the book. What's this? Oh, cool, so you can, like, turn on haste and stuff once you get that. But anyway, let's start the game. And I'm falling. Okay. Uh, 6 plus 6.50. Welcome back to the ship. It's cramped, but cozy. Tip typical astronaut style. There are three main systems you need to know about that are here, and they are labeled. Check them out, and I'll tell you about them. What you are looking at here is the computer is the computer interface. You can access the hollow deck at any time by clicking the sign below the monitor. Cool. Hollow deck. Oh, this is the hollow deck. Oh, that's cool. It's like a virtual reality, and we're old again. Okay, the interface. So, yeah, it's actually quite cramped. What's this button do? Oh, shower. Huh. It's a shower down there. Okay, the medical module. This mo the module. Um, this is the medical. The module has an emergency warp feature. If you are in danger of dying, the warp will activate, bringing you here to be treated. You'll wake up groggy, but safe. Sleep in the bed will also slowly restore your health, as will the built-in systems in our suit. Okay, so cool, so we've got like regeneration. Um, potions, what's this say? 
if the regeneration system is the if the regeneration if the regeneration system in your suit breaks down, be sure to use these as backup. Being in the medical bay, bed will also heal you. Okay, so if our suit breaks down, we use these potions. But now what's down here? We have um this is the synthesizer. Not much to look at, but this is the most advanced piece of equipment we have. The machine is top of the line in 3D printed technology. If you bring in certain supplies and put them inside, it can make you just about anything we design. If you find supplies that can be used the synthesizer, I'll let you know. Cool, so this is like a 3D printer kind of thing. Engine, synthesizer module. The synthesizer, blah, 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 blah. It's fun and dangerous. That's what I like. So we've got showers. Cool, we've got little showers. I need to go turn those off. I don't, I don't know why, I just want to turn them Click. Click. It doesn't, right? Yep, okay, now they're gone. So this button. Oh, cool, it opens up a window. That's nice. Um, then there's these chests with some food. We better take some jerky for the road. Mission manual. Kind of need that. We figured you might get tired of eating only stale space food, so we shipped you. Ooh, we got cookies and cake. We've got cake and cookies. I like cookies. We need we need we need some cookies for the road. Cookies for the road and a challenge list. Cool creature capture capsule. The cap the creature cap blah blah. That's a tongue twist. The creature capture capsule is designed to capture alien specimens to use the capsule simply throw it near the creature you want to capture the capture could collect all tameable creatures and zombie villagers cool we'll need those safe way to transport tameable animals they are disposable but will be but it bleh. it will be easy to make more just put four glass blocks four redstone duck stop fucking so just pretty much put that in this. I found an animal that resembles Earth's cows a bit, but it, but by resembling, I mean it has a very prominent udder. You should probably try milking it. Just think about all the nice things you can do with some milk. Cow has scanned, sending information back to the ship. Okay. Oh, this is a cool thing. I didn't realize. Okay. Um, we got some water bottle that does nothing. Let's flip this lever. Oh, that's the engines. Okay. How do you leave the ship? Wait, is this how? Hey, oh, derp. That's how. Hatch is sealed with an energy barrier, so if any native creature walks through, it will be destroyed. You can, you will also be unable to mine or place blocks near the ship. That's it. Have fun exploring. I may interrupt with a comment if I see a new creature or something interesting. Crap, I forgot to read these. Okay, let's go back inside, close the door for a sec. Okay, mission manual. Optional reading. Greetings, astronaut. Um, you have been sel selectively chosen for this assignment. For your expertise as a scientist and your survival experience. This will make you uniquely qualified for, the, for this mission. EPIC 20427 Numbers is a star system long known for its odd behavior and has been of interest since the discovery in 2016 that the star light levels fluctuate regularly by as much as 65%. That makes no sense, but okay. Something massive was orbiting there. It made it the subject of much speculation and science fiction. You are the first human to set foot here and see what happens it's all, and see what it's all about. Epic 204 was discovered to have an enormous asteroid belt in 2630 AD when probes finally reached the system. Now, July 22nd of 26, 2647, so that's now what we need to know, you are the first human to set foot in this place. Let your curiosity be your guide and document every detail you can with the aid of the biosuit AI we designed for this mission. Good luck! Parts of the asteroid field are in the habitable zone of the system's red drawer, and there is breathable atmosphere. The yearly cycle for the area you have landed on is only 25 days, so 25 days is one year on this planet. Expect some extreme weather during the 
quick changes in temperature and interference of nearby asteroids. Okay, so there is going to be some extreme weather. Try to investigate as much native life as possible. This is the most important part of your mission. So I try to pretty much... I'm like a ge I'm like a zoologist, kind of. Not really a zoologist, but like an animal photographer. Your ship consists of two parts, the landing craft and the system orbiter, which is too large to bring in close. Spend a year on the surface, cataloging the native life forms and geology, and then rendezvous, rendezvous with the, na with the, um, with, with the orbiter. So pretty much spend a year down here, 25 days, then fly back up. Computer, so systems, computer interface for ease for ease of use, we have installed the most advanced virtual interface on the market. Interact with the data on your computer physically inside the holodeck. Okay, so I've already checked that out. Emergency thing, I already explained that. Synthesizer, I already said that. Sanitation system. Oh, that's the water stuff. Okay. From the administration, we really appreciate your understanding. We really appreciate you understanding this historic journey. Mankind will blah, 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 blah. Enjoy the treats we sent you. Blah, blah, blah. I saw the cake. When you wake, ten years will have passed since you left the last and closest space outpost. Okay, so it's actually... No, it is that time. Yeah. Okay. Expedition challenges. Discover the hive of a new creature. What lives there? Explore an ancient ruin. Find the lair of a powerful dungeon boss and defeat it in combat. Okay. Um... I don't truly need that anymore. I will take the cookie. And... Those things. Yeah, the creature capsules. Captures. Do I have any weapons? No. Uh-uh. No. Okay, so... It's like regular survival. It's like just it's like survival Minecraft. Wait, what's that thing? Oh, it's just a cool, it's a crafting table, it's like, that's cool. That's cool, it's got like custom models. There's not, there's no texture pack involved with this game, but they just, they customized, they used custom models like that. Like with the, I don't know what, I don't know what you call this, but like they put a crafting table. I believe there's an invisible armor stand holding a crafting table or something. I'm not that great with commands and stuff like that. I mean like with invisible entities and stuff. But anyway, let's go outside, enough of me talking. It is raining. There's a cow! Hi, Mr. Cow. So if I toss this down... Oh, cool! Oh, cool! That's how it works. Now I have a cow. Um, sorry, Mr. Cow, but I'm holding beef jerky in my hand. Okay. So, wait. What was I supposed to do? The ship has several safety features. You all, Okay. The, um... I found an animal that resembles Earth's cow. You should try milking it. Okay, um, Mr. Cow, you're gonna stay in the ship. You're gonna be my pet. How does this work? How do, how do you... S okay, um, the capture. To release the cow, simply right-click. With the capsule. Okay, I want to release it. Oh, right, entities can't spawn in here. Okay, now. Let's spawn him right down. Like, no. Th <laughs> Cow, no work! Oh, yeah, right, I can't play stuff for a certain bottom block. There we go. Hi, Mr. Cow. Now, I'm going to start collecting some wood. So that way I can get a pickaxe. So that way I can get some iron. And that way... So, yeah, it's literally just regular survival but with a twist, and the fact that you are only here for 25 days. Did I hear something? Oh, whoa, that is cool. I need to, Whoa, a floating island. Okay, this place is cool. This kind of reminds me of something like Xenoblade Chronicles. Like, like, you're on an alien planet. Like, everything is way different from Earth. Like, literally, like, the terrain generation. Well, that is cool. That's cool. See that over there? It's like, that. that is awesome. Okay, I need to check that out soon. But anyway, oh yeah, I don't need a crafting table because I, ha I already have one in here. Come, Barnaby. Wait, I, wait, should I really? No, I, no. Your name is Cow. Okay, your name is Bob now. Come, Bob. Or not. 
Eh, okay, Bob doesn't want to come right now. He'll just stay out there and soon get killed. But anyway, let's just get to crafting. So we're first going to need planks. No, I'm going to put some planks. Okay, so we need a pickaxe, so we'll need some sticks. Then we'll need a pickaxe and a sword. We'll take our pickaxe and let's go with an axe just because we can. There, now we have a pickaxe and an axe. Click. Now, I have to go mining, but I'm afraid to right now because it's getting dark out, and I'm not sure if entities are... Cool, there's a hopper system. Oh, that's cool. Wait. Um, all of them are going that way, so it takes... Oh, cool! You put everything in... Oh, that's nice. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. So, although I think that's just decoration, I'm not sure, but anyway. Whoa, that actually does look pretty nice. And hey, I can't lose it, there's a beacon on top. Still, I'm pretty sure I'm going to somehow lose it. Hit. Parkour. I have not encountered any, like, zombies or... I thought I saw a spider, but it was just... It was just the stupid landing pad. Hit. Ooh, pumpkin! Okay, right now I'm just like... Wait, what? There's like no mobs spawning in yet. Wait, what? what's the difficulty? Oh, it's on easy. Okay. I am so freaked out right now. I swear, like, as I'm mining, like, a creeper's gonna... Ooh, slime balls. Why are those there? Okay, well, I got slime balls. Let's get some coal. Because I really need some torches. Wait, now that I think about it, let's just get some torches right now. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. Now that we have torches... Oh, that's cool! Yeah, um, I have Optifine installed. So, <laughs> I didn't realize that I did that with torches. That's cool, like, you know, hold a torch in your hand, and boom, you got surrounded by light. Mine, 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 let's just mine. Don't mind me, I'm just going mentally insane while I'm waiting for the mining. Yeah, forgot. While I'm here, I might as well get some stone. That's the thing I need next. Anyway, let's just get some stone while we're here. I swear, something's just gonna, like, walk around the corner and just, like, Hi there! And I'm gonna die. That's the problem with me. Like, I am, like, way too paranoid at night in Minecraft. Like, in Minecraft, when it's nighttime, I am way too paranoid. So, like, I almost never go out at night, because I'm always afraid of, like, some creeper or something just blowing me up. But I think that's enough for now. Let's get our axe in hand. And how do I get back out? Okay, yeah. Just jump, jump, jump. Now we just have to run. Yep, there's a... Ooh, bat! I found a bat! Picked up some high-frequency sounds, inaudible for them. It must be the tiny airborne creature close. Um, it, oh, crap. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. I hear a zombie. I hear a zombie. I hear a zombie. I hear a zombie. Go to the house. Go to the house. House, 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 house. Gotta run, run, run. Run, run, run. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. No, we're not. Safe. Okay. Let me read that. My skin, um, I've picked up some high frequency sounds inaudible to the human ear. Must be that tiny airborne creature close by that's flying around really fast. Must, maybe it's hunting with echolocation, like bats? Okay. Is it just me, or is something around here smelling like a corpse? My scanners are suggesting that the stink is coming from a nearby creature. It looks humanoid, yet the green skin has an unhealthy pullover. I think it may be infected or something. This reminds me of the Earth zombie horror trope. I don't know what a trope is, but okay. Look at the pretty blue bur flying creature near you. It's an oddly shape, but it seems to have feathers and fly similar to a bird. I'm detecting a high-pitched song that it communicates with. As it flies and the powder falls on the new plants that look greener. Maybe this little guy is a pollinator like bees. Okay, so it's not just the normal. I don't really see anything. I'm just going to stay in... Oh, cool! Whoa, I didn't see that! Whoa, okay, I, I just saw that. But anyway, um, let's get to crafting. I'm gonna get a stone sword so I can fight the zombie. I know where the zombie is now, so I don't have to scream about it. 
slime balls. Um, we don't need jerky, we need cookies. We have the cookies. I don't really need the bio oh, I do need the bio suit. I don't need that right now. I've got a stone sword, and let's just get a stone pick. Boom. Now I'm ready to fight off them. Okay, and then let's just put the rest for torches. Okay. Now I think I'm ready for... Cool! You see, the, you see those things? You see those? They're like little pollinator things. Wait, what is that? Whoa! It's a snail! Wait, is that a snail? It looks like Gary. Like from Spongebob or something. But that's just probably me. Oh crap! Zombie, zombie, zombie! Die, zombie, zombie! Die! Die, you stupid zombie! Die! Die! Got he. Okay. So... Cool, it's a little pollinator! Okay, um... We are safe so far. Let's just close that, and I'm just gonna go upstairs and take a nap, because if you see, I have taken damage. Stupid healing thing isn't working, but let's just take a nap. Ow! What was that? Okay. Why did I just take damage? I tried to sleep in the bed, and like it's like, no, die. But anyway, let's just eat some cookies. Thanks for the treats, dude. Um, wait, is it daytime now? Yay, it's daytime! Let's open the door and say, hello world. Okay, those things are cool. They're like little... Whoa! Those things are actually nice. Those things are neat. I think it's just like invisible banners. Let's not just think about how it's made. Let's just enjoy it. Wait, ow. Wait, I'm not ow. I just heard a spider. I hear a spider. I'm going to get on high ground so I can spot it. Where are you, spider? Mr. Spider. You're starting to scare me. Whoa, I need to check that out. But where are you, Mr. Spider? Okay, you know what? I'm going to turn on fancy graphics so I can actually see through the see through the tree leaves. Mr. Spot. Oh, there you are. Ha ha ha. There you are, Mr. Spider. You you silly Mr. Spider, you. You're going to die now. But how do I get down there? Aha. Boom, smartness. Mr. Spider, you're going to die. 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 Stop hitting me. Now you're dead. Okay, good. Ha. Mr. Spider died. Hi, Mr. Cow. I sense... Ooh! It's a chicken! Wait. Um, although it appears to be flapping its wings, it does seem to be... It seems... It appears to be flapping its wings. It doesn't seem to be able to achieve flight. I suggest you check it out more closely and see if there's any tasty eggs nearby. It's a little chicken! Hello, Mr. Chicken! That's a canine! Where's a wolf? Well, there's a wolf. You know man's best friend? It seems pretty friendly. I wonder if they are domesticated. Where's the wolf? I want my Wexy. I want my Lexi. Where's my wolf? Where's the wolf? There you are! I'm gonna name you. I'm gonna love you. I'm gonna hug you. I'm gonna name you Lexi. Once I find a bone. Where's a skeleton? Anyway, if you guys think I talk too much, let me know in the comments. <laughs> I'll try not to talk as much, but... This is my first video. Anyway, um... Hmm... So there's giant pillars over there. There's like a nest. Looks like a giant worm nest of some sort. I honestly don't know what it is, but it looks like a giant worm nest. Why is it always raining? I, I just want to look. It seems like whenever I'm outside, it's raining. Jada. Jada. It's a massive impact crater. Scary how big of a hole that thing made. I may keep a sharp eye out on the scanners for incoming meteors. I'd hate for the ship to get hit during our stay. Okay. Well, that's a meteor imp That's a meteor impact. Whoa. That's a big meteor. Hey, let's go check it out. Maybe there's something in the center, like, you know, like, with all the, like, the science fiction stuff. Like a, like, some alien or something lives in there. Like, it was a spaceship that he lived in, and then, like, it crash-landed. Why isn't my healing suit work? Why doesn't, like, the healing of it work? Well, yeah, it did say it might be broken. Oh, no, it didn't really say that, but it said if it was, then just take the potion. Okay. There's clouds at the center doesn't make much sense, but anyway, is there anything down there? 
Hello. I come in peace. I see squids. Squid, squid, squid. Cool. Oh, cool. And now we got iron ore. Iron ore. Iron ore. We have iron. Wait, is dorite like some type of mineral? Nope, it's just dorite. Lonely, lonely dorite. Ooh, iron blocks. Yes! Wait, can I break iron with stone ale? Let's find out. Yay! Awesome. We got iron on our first day. Why was there a hole? There's a strange squid-like creature. Cool! Yeah, I wouldn't want I wouldn't want to get you dirty. No, God forbid that happens. Yeah, um, there's a squid thingy nearby. He's probably talking about the squids that I saw. But anyway, let's just mine this. Almost done. Boom, all done. Dorite is useless, like usual. <laughs> Stupid squid, you appear to be dying. Uh, no, oh, crap. Oh, cool, they give you blindness. Well, that sucks. But hey, I got an ink sack. Got another ink sack. Wow. Okay, let's head back to the ship. Um, actually, let's keep exploring. Yeah, this this totally reminds me of Xenoblade Chronicles. Like, <laughs> like you're on a you're on a planet, of course. In Xenoblade Chronicles, you have other people. You're not alone, with no friends. Totally not upset right now. <laughs> anyway, let's just head back to the ship. At least I have an AI. At least I have a computer. Computers are man's best friend. Who needs a dog when you have a computer? What is this? This looks weird. This is some weird kind of wood. Oh, it's just jungle wood. Cool. Um, coal! There's some, a lot of coal on this planet. Did they have dinosaurs? Maybe? Maybe not? I think I see a name tag. It's probably just the cow. It's probably just, um... It's probably just Bob. How do I... I'm, I'm horrible with parkour, so... This may take... Oh, crap. I'm low on hunger. Cookies to the rescue. Nope. Wrong thing. Cookies. Save me, cookies. That's the one thing I hate about survival. I always end up starving myself to death. Because, like, I never get food. For some reason. And then I always end up like, I'm dying! Mm. Where are all the cows? Or something like that. Whoa! Okay. With that, let's just eat our stuff. Now I'm regenerating. Okay. Um, we have furnaces, which are pretty neat, but not much else. So we have some water bottles. We have some bread. We have some of uh, this blah blah of that stuff. Okay, um, you know... Wait, what are let's let's go to the yo, robot thing, robot placey stuff. Well, first let's okay. I can only sleep at night. Blah blah. blah. Let's go to this place. Yeah, the um, the virtual interface. Let's go to the virtual. Interface. Okay, hologram display work. How does the hologram display work? Do you like click 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 or like no? Like, do you, do you, do you like drop something on it or what? Okay, passive creatures. Whoa whoa snail. Drops a slime ball and fertilizer and clay. Eat. Cool. So we found a snail. Wood sprite. Squid. Cow. Chicken. Bluebird. Bat. Okay. Hostile creatures. We have found the spider. The zombie. The wolf is considered a hostile creature. Wow. Why? It's, it's a friendly wolf. The wolfie was never. The wolves won't hurt you. Unless you hurt them. Synthesize. Okay creature capture stuff. We already have that. Bio book. I already know how to do that. Augmented limbs. That I really want. So we need 16 stuff. Blah. What else is up here? We have expedition settings. Mob. Click to toggle mob griefing and meteor damage. All. Click to reset. All. One time. Okay. Oh cool. That checks for updates. Cool. Oh. Toggle helmet color. I don't Yes, green! Green's my favorite color. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, artifacts. 
We have nothing. Let's head back. Click. Nom, nom, nom. Okay, so I'm going to turn off clouds because those things are kind of useless right now. Clouds, where are you? Um... Okay, you know what? I can't find clouds right now. Let's worry about that later. Anyway, um, wait, let's turn those things on. I need a shower. Let's take, let's just clean ourselves off. And I really need to put some stuff in chests. I need to start storing stuff. Let's put in the, oh yeah, I gotta cook the iron. Click, click, boom, boom, there. Then... Clean ourselves off. Now we could put away this. It's pretty much everything in our inventory kind of right now. Yeah, I don't really need that. But now we can also put away our rotten flesh because that is useless right now. Um, is there anything else? Really? Not really. Um, just gotta let that cook. Well, you know what? How about this? Yeah. When I'm using it, I'll close it. But when I'm not using it, I'll open it. There, so that way I know I can use this one, and I know that one's running. So that means I'll have to check it later. But let's head back on out. Cool, okay. Now, let's travel this way now. It's over here. So far, we have not encountered that much, but we've encountered some. Ow. Ooh. I wish, like, fall damage was disabled in this. Because that means, like, I could just, like jump, like, travel anywhere. There's a squid. Okay, watch out for squids because they will blind you. Uh, cool. Okay. We've got it. Did I hear a zombie? Oh, crap. Do I hear mobs? It's starting to get dark. Let's go home. Why is it rain? Why? <laughs> Do you see that? It's snowing right there and everywhere else it's raining. It's like, I want to be different. But anyway, um, once we head on back, um, I think that's going to be the end of episode one. But uh, I can continue this as a series if you want, but right now I think this is going to be the end of episode one. We've already got a house. We've got some tools. We already have some um, logs done. Open. Yeah, I'm going to keep that open when I'm outside. But now, I think we're going to go upstairs. And, yeah, this is the end of episode one. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. Of course, which you will see later. But anyway, that's all for today. I will see you later.